You'll be running against Teslim Folari, Monsurat Sumonu. Folari, two time senator. Monsurat, one time senator. Bisilaka, no time senator. I think that's what gives me the edge over them because um, they both have their records are there as senators. And um, in my view, and, and, and that view actually uh, coincides with um, the views of the teeming population of or your central, mm. that these people, that their records is pretty abysmal. Um, their records, if I'm being... Most right, we not agree with you. Um, could you, I, I don't know, tell me, point to, point, to, point to anything she's brought, anything she's done. For Larry, we not agree with you. I, am, I, don't, I think the people in Onara would agree with me, and those are the people that matter. The people in Egbeda would agree with me. The people in your Federal Constituency would agree with me. The people in Sule Rogolu, I would agree with me. So, and I would say to them, I'm not serving. I'm not, I've, I've never served, like you said. You, you, you observed I've never held the seven, seven, ten, ten, ten position. But if you go to Ajawa, the water they drink there is mine. If you go to Oduaba, the water they drink there is mine. If you go to Rilegmo, the water they drink there is mine. If you go to Fiditi, the water they drink there is mine. If you go to Agumpoko, you the provide list goes water on. for the people. It, the list goes on. Um, I Why do you it, like water? What's a, what's a, what, what, okay, who doesn't like water? Yeah? Um, water? Water is the source of life itself. Oh. And so um, the challenges that people have without proper pipe born water are enormous. Mm. Yeah? If you ask the good people of Fashola, how do they get by without the borehole that BC like that provider? They'll tell you tales of woe. So as Senator, you give them more water? I'll give them a lot more than that. Because I understand the challenge. Our Centurion district is part rural, part of urban. Um, I'm a paid up disciple of um, what I call integrated rural development, uh, where we'll use all kinds of levers, be it education, be it healthcare, um, be it agriculture, mm. be it infrastructure, as the levers of deve development in these areas. That's the, kind of, that's the kind of thing I want to bring. Do you believe in a restructured Nigeria? Very much so. You're going to fight for that? Very much so. You're going to stand on the floor of the Senate demanding for the restructuring of the state? Look, the way we cobbled up this whole Nigeria as a stand is not working, right? We have a constitution that nobody's actually sat down and debate. Our union has not been defined by us. So we need to have that conversation that how do we, how do we, if we want to get Nigeria working properly, we've got to sit down and look at what's wrong with it. And part of what's wrong with it is the laws that bind us together, that governs our togetherness. That's the constitution. So that's a mission for you. Very much so. Unfortunately, the presidential candidate of your party is discussing in that line, talking about restructuring. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's an idea that its time has come. It's an idea that will not go away. Um, people keep badgering about it, badgering about it, millions of people badgering about it. That if we want to keep this corporate entity called Nigeria, um, we have to uh, rejig it, re rework it. Um, and um, even the constitutional conference that was convoked by uh, President Jonathan, that was the direction in which um, the, the hundreds of people who had attended that, they communicated. How come Buhari is not interested in that subject? Um, I, um, no, he paid lip service to it when he was campaigning, but he's never believed in it because, you know, he comes from. He's, he's, he's probably an unreformed uh, military dictator in the sense that the military was the one that gave us this unitary arrangement of government, this unitary kind of constitution or form of governance. Um, before the military came, um, when they totally discarded the constitution we're using in the 60s, uh, we, we, had a, we had an arrangement where like, we had regions, the regions had their own constitutions. Um, we had a true fed, federal arrangement where the federating units actually were um, semi-autonomous. We had a relatively weak center and strong regions. Um, <coughs> this region, which was the Western region, a lot of first were here. Mm. Um, broadcasting, for example. Uh, we had TV stations before South Africa. Um, we had TV stations before places like Australia. And um, we were the first in a number of places. Let's look at this. Nigerian politics repeats itself. Karl Marx said, when history repeats itself, it reproduces in the form of comedy what first appeared as tragedy. Is that what your country has become? Um, damn. I, I would say like, well, it's probably like a comedy of errors. It's, it's become, 
uh, most of our institutions, if you look into it, they've all become part of a farce. Um, politicians are probably the most discredited, disregarded bunch of individuals in this country, and rightly so. Um, but in order for us to go back to the serious business of uh, governance and um, inputting into the lives of our people, um, we've got to change the way we do things. We've got to put our best foot forward. Um, I think the next election is going to be really different because um, all political platforms have been discredited. We don't have ideologies, no, no ideological driven parties in the country. Um, we have different parties with different logos, people by much of the same people crossing and recrossing mm. and retracing their steps. So people look at the individual and say, what does this person stand for? And people vote across party lines for who they think will provide them the best representation. And you think Atiku has a chance? Very much so. Um, I think in truth, um, in the words of Pastor Tunde Bakari, he is a true Wazobia man. And that's the man for this kind of season, a true Nigerian, uh, a detribalized Nigerian. Uh, um, you know, I, I say to people, I say, look, if I personally want to get access to Atiku, I don't need to go and find a man from uh, Jada or Yola or Funtua. Um, I can have a friend in Ibadan or in Elisha who would have access. And that's the kind of Nigeria. A Nigeria who is truly representative or represents all of us. Um, whose, whose cabinet will be made or whose administration would seek the best uh, Nigeria wherever we can find them to do the work at hand. Is this she marking this time? I think so. I think so. Very much so. Um, I'm quite convinced. I've spent a lot of time with the gentleman. Um, or your state, um, what, what happens in this state in terms of governance? All you see is a very, very lazy um, administration. Did you say lazy? Very lazy. Because all you the, use lazy to describe the yeah. administration of lazy, Ajimabi? Lazy, unimaginative. Um, you see, if you, want to, if you want to govern, it's a vision thing. You've got to see it. No vision? No vision. Lacking in vision. If you have vision, then you can have a direction. You no can, direction? You know, directionless. Um, this, this government should be a vector for improving the lot of the people. It hasn't. The people are hungry? Very much so. And the PDP will be different? We would. We would. I would be part of a PDP administration. The same PDP we know, right? Has anything changed, Chief Ilaka? A new, improved, reinvigorated, rebranded... The same Atiku Abubakas? Yes, Atiku Abubakar. Um, his, his, his performance in terms of head Has of... Has anything changed? It, it, look, he is a man of many talents. Um, the, the, cap, the, the, the talents he attracted to this country were the driving force of our... Of Second Secondus as your national chairman? Has anything changed? Yes, a lot has changed. Because I look at my party, I look at my, the, the boys contesting in my Centurion district, young, vibrant, vigorous, intelligent, forward-thinking, forward-looking, um, Are you addition in PDP? Has anything changed? I addition, I don't know whether he's still in the PDP, but you can tell me whether he is or not. But it doesn't really matter. Mulikata Kondi in the PDP, yes. has anything changed? Yes. Yes. Busy, like, huh? yes. It's PDP the option for the Nigerian people. It is. It is, it is the only option because, you see, our people think in a very binary manner. Some say from PDP, fry pan, Buhari fire. Where are we headed again? Yeah. We are, we are going to embalm the whole situation. We are the soothing ointment. Do you feel for the Nigerian people at all? Always. You, do you have sympathy for them? I have sympathy. Your have country empathy. is the capital of poverty in the world. Your people are poor. Do you feel it, Chifilaka? In the last four years, we have, we have regressed. Um, we want to stop and staunch the, the bleeding. Um, we want to put the country back on the, on, on the path of gross, progress. We have an administration that at best at best has a growth rate of about 2%. We have a population increasing by about 3%. So we're really operating in negative terms. For this country to get out of the doldrums, it's about growth. Um, the PDP administration um, at times hit the lofty levels of about 10% growth, 7%, 8%, 9% growth. So i.e. the growth we had in the, com in the economy was above the, the, the population growth. Now we have really, we are like flatlining our best permanently in a recession. Um, look, 
I know for a fact, on a personal basis, if the, I have... The money is ripping from the eels the PDP left behind. Um, you see, it, it doesn't wash. It's, it's, it's a song that it, it sounds like a broken record. We're tired of that tune. Um, if the people of Nigeria thought PDP remained the answer in 2015, they wouldn't have voted them out. You applied for the job, you got the job, and all you're doing is worrying about your predecessor. If your predecessor, the people who thought were doing such a sterling job, they wouldn't have voted them out. So you've got the job you wanted, so just get on with it. Which, if you like, I go to prison? For what? For murder charges? Definitely not. For possessing weapons? Definitely not. Illegally? Definitely not. Are you scared of going back to Agodi prison? No, I'm not. I'm not. Um, but I don't, I, for, to, just to inform you, I haven't been charged with murder. Uh, yeah? I'm not. I've not been charged with murder at all. Okay. So that's not part of the charges. And if they say I possess a weapon without a license, I do have a license. So all this would happen in court. Um, we would, the, 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 the government, I'm innocent until proven guilty, because I think that's probably the, main, the, the fundamental tenets of criminal law. Mm. Um, it's for them to prove criminality or any form of it on my part. But you are not broken. Without a shadow of doubt. Your campaign continues. Very much so. Come 2019, BC Laka on the floor of the Nigerian Senate. I'm sure you wish it as well. I would like to see that tall man. It will be a sight for sore eyes. Um, um, and I'm sure I'll bring, I'll bring great charm, poise to that office. And I'll discharge my duties uh, in the most diligent fashion and manner. And from the way you speak, you are going to thrill your colleagues, right? Um, this, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm sure like, I'll do the job I've been sent there to do. Chibisi Laka, I wish you well as you campaign to go to the Senate. Thank you ever so much. Thank you for featuring on State of